Hi there. I recently did a gradient and put zebra print over the top. And one of the overwhelming things that came out of the comments from that is that a lot of you aren't confident doing freehand zebra print. Uh, it's one of those things that I absolutely love doing. And I find it really easy now, but it hasn't always been that way. It's taken a lot of practice to get to that point. So what I thought I'd do is a quick video to give you my tips and tricks for doing zebra print manis and the best things I've found to be able to do them with. First of all, let's take a look at a couple of pictures of zebras. Um, when you look at them, it becomes clear that the zebra print manis we're doing aren't always true to zebra print. But hey, let's leave that. We've got our own style as manicurists and uh, nail artists. So let's go with that. I use a selection of brushes depending on how thick or thin I want my zebra print to look like. The first few are brushes that I've hacked down. These are from the kind of 12-15 piece sets that you can buy on eBay and other cheap nail art stores. And I've just kind of hacked them down with a pair of nail clippers until they're the kind of thickness that I want. I've also got another one. This one hasn't been hacked down. Um, and also because of the length and the fit thickness works quite well for zebra print. And my final one is a low Cornell 18 slash zero script liner. Um, I was recommended this by one of the girls in the Digital Dozen and since I've got this I've used it absolutely tons. The first brush I'm going to use is my low Cornell 18 slash zero script liner. What I do for zebra print, and this goes in general, whatever brush you've got, is get a little brush, a little paint even, on your brush. Um, use the paint to make sure the bristles are in one place. And then start where you want the focal point of your zebra stripes to be. So for this one, I'm going to say right on the middle of this side of the tip. And then just drag your polish from one side into the centre. It doesn't have to be overly neat. Um, then what I do is drag for a second one into a triangle. And then just bring that out to a tip. From there, I'll probably get some more polish on my brush at this point. Because I don't want to be dragging it too thinly and having to go over stripes unless I really have to. And then I will just line that triangle on the inside, maybe a tiny little one on the corner. So that's the start of our zebra stripes. A little more polish on the brush. Notice how I don't actually coat the whole brush, just the tip of it. And you can vary this depending on the length of your brush as well. And now I'm going to go on the outside. At this point, I'm just going to follow the line, starting with a harder pressure on the beginning of the stripe and lessening off pressure at the tip to get the smaller point. Then I'll go up from the bottom, and again, another line, and just kind of aim at the end to have a little kind of flare and flick. From that point then, Go into the other side with your brush and do the same in a kind of reverse motion. As you can see, if you manage to lift your brush off at any point, you can manage to fill in those gaps. Um, I'm going to change my angle here because it's not incredibly practical with the camera around. You could also, if you're more confident, start with a very light pressure at one point and then increase the pressure on the blush as you get towards the edge of the nail. It's really what works for you. It's taken me a lot of practice to get zebra print nails down how I like them. And a lot of that has just been working out what's the best thing for me to do, how I can make it work for me. So again, you just kind of keep working out from side to the inside, if that's what works for you, or the other way around. Um, making sure you keep enough polish on your brush and it doesn't dry out. 
and just drag and kind of flick. I'm going to choose at this point to do an extra one on one side. Again, if you don't manage to get your flick in, it's not the end of the world, as you've seen from the pictures. Not all zebras are the same. So I'm just going to take this round and finish off the edges where we've got some bald spots. Now, if you want to at this point fill in some places, little triangles will also work. But that is essentially how you do zebra print. I'm going to go you through just like with a quick speeded up version now to show you how it works with some of the thinner brushes as well. Um, I've always found that I prefer the thicker brushes as they give a much more defined line with the thinner ones. I tend to just end up with wispy lines if you know what I mean. Um, Jeanette of I Love Your Nails, um, link below in the comments, does amazing zebra stripes with really thin stripes and she really makes it work for her style but it's just not my sort of thing. So here I've got a much thinner brush, um, kind of probably the same amount of polish roughly on here as on the previous brush and we're just going to go again with the same process as before. So pull it out, flick, pull it out, flick, carry on the triangle on the inside and now let's speed things up a bit. There is the finished one with a thinner brush. Um, you'll notice that, again, I haven't filled the whole brush with polish because we're not doing straight or really long lines. It's not necessary at all. So we'll just have a look. We've got thick on the right and thinner on the left. So you can see the difference, but you can also see how similar they are. And now I'm just going to do one with a really thin brush because this is slightly more difficult to achieve. So this brush has been amazingly cut down. I'm guessing there's only 10 bristles in it. I don't tend to use this brush for much because it's really difficult to get polish to stay on it. Um, and it just doesn't seem to drag very well, but occasionally it has its uses. So again, let's apply the polish covering no more than half of the brush and we start with our triangle because the brush is so much thinner it doesn't hold as much polish so you will find that you're dipping into your bottle much more often but it can give a really good line. Also, if you want to go in and fill in the details at the end with a shorter brush, more of your detailing brush, that can be useful until you've got your confidence up. As you can see, this thin brush gives a really thin line at the end. And if you want to mix it up a bit, which occasionally I do, you can take one of your lines and extend a second line out from it. I always find when you've done that, it's useful to take a line from the other side and just run it into the middle like so. You might find as well, while you're doing your zebra print, that your brushes end up feeling kind of clogged. There's no shame in cleaning them midway through a nail, whatever it takes to get your perfect look. Now you'll notice on this nail, I'm pretty much going all across the left side before I do the right side. Again, there's no right or way, wrong way to do this. Um, and sometimes I find that's easiest just to get an evenly spaced nail. Again, change the angle just to get the other side because it does make it easier. 
and we're just going to fill in running through to the middle of each neck stripe Sometimes when you're using the really thin brushes, it's easier to place your line down and then fill in the bottom bit afterwards just to make that bottom bit stand out a bit more. Again, you can do this with your striping brush or you can take a detailing brush, a much shorter one, to do that once you've finished. Well, while I'm carrying on with this, let me say that I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, just getting started with nail art tutorials on YouTube, so let me know what you'd like to see. Leave me a note in the comments so I know what to tackle next, whether you'd like full looks or perhaps something smaller, just like breaking down, like this, breaking down a single nail. Um, don't forget if you like this hit like because I'd love to see it and in the end if you fancy seeing more tutorials like this don't forget to hit subscribe thank you and see you later